this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a table of contents for your lesson plans and then link all of that so that it's easier to navigate through your lesson plans whenever you are using Google Sheets. So the first thing I want to do is I want to select all of my sales and I do that by hitting Command A and I'm going to choose a cute text so that way whenever I start typing it's already in a cute text. I'm going to make this a column smaller because it's actually going to be a border and then I am going to go ahead and put the name of my class and I'm going to list the months so that I already have those columns there. So after you have the months you can I personally like to change the justification of the text to center and I like to move it to the middle. Once you have the months, you need to pull up a calendar and then you will type each week in there. I like to have the weeks as balanced as possible and so you can fit about four weeks under each month. And so I will just type it that way. I tried to find an easier way to do it, but Alas, I did not find one. You'll just keep going through here, adding the weeks for each month. And if you prefer doing this a different way, then you absolutely can. It's really up to you. This is going to be your lesson plan document. And so make it whichever way you feel most comfortable looking at it because you're going to be looking at it quite a lot. So now that I'm done with all the weeks, I'm going to come to this first row, select the entire first row, and then you're going to insert a row, either above or below, it really doesn't matter, and create a button that says Table of Contents. You're going to hit Command K or Insert Link, and you're going to choose this first sheet. And this is going to be your Table of Contents link that you will copy and paste on every single sheet after, after this so that way you can easily get back to your table of contents. Now I am changing the color of this tab. It's not really necessary because all of that it does is put a colored line at the bottom of the tab, but this is a way that you can add a little bit more color to your Google Sheets. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these cells right here because this is going to be where I put whatever type of lesson plan image, whatever cute lesson plan image I want at the top of my lesson plans. And so you can find one, you can make one. In my original document that is on Teachers Pay Teachers, I drew that on Procreate. And so you can really just make it however you want. We're going to get rid of our grid lines now, so click View and then Unselect Grid Lines. And so this is going to make our document more appealing to the eye and less grid-like. Alright, so you can look for a lesson plan image to put in this top cell. I could not really find any and so I clipped all of this stuff out. So I just went to Canva and that's canva.com and you can make a ton of different graphics here. They have a free account that kids can also use and then they also have an educator's account and the educator's account is free so you should go ahead and sign up for that. Now for this template I just chose a Facebook cover but you will see um, in this tutorial that the cover is not quite the right size and so you might want to choose a different size. And so just pick a template or whatever, it doesn't really matter. I like this one with the splotches and so we're going to go with this one. I'm going to change the text to lesson plans and I want more than just the sans serif text. I want a uh, some juxtapositions. 
a nice handwriting text would go great with this very straight text. I'm going to delete the part at the top. They are grouped together though, so I'm also going to click ungroup. And I'm going to type in plans. And then I'm going to change the color of this confetti. And that way it looks like it goes with the rest of the image. You can put whatever you want down here or you can delete that text box altogether. Again, it's all about personal preference. Another thing you could do that I didn't do is you could delete that text box and then make the lesson plans take up the entire image. Those words don't have to actually be in that blank space. It could take up the entire image and that would look perfectly fine. So play around with it, do whatever you like, it's just for you. So when you are done, you're going to click download and you can save it as a PNG. You don't really need a transparent background because your background is solid. So if you didn't have a background, then you might want it transparent. So you're going to download that image. It should be free. And then you are going to go back to your document and then insert image, image in cell. And then you can literally drag and drop and it will upload that straight to your cell. Now you see how kind of small this is? You can make the cell bigger because that's one cell. Remember we merged all those together and so that's one cell and so for it to take up the cell we would have to make this section a lot bigger than what I would actually prefer because I don't want to end up having to scroll anywhere on this page and so you might want to go um, you might want to make make it a different size to where it's a little bit more efficient. And so I did go back and I changed that background to white because the rest of the spreadsheet is white and so I wanted it to just blend in a little bit more instead of going from the cream background to the white background and so I just uploaded a new image with the white background so it looked a little bit more seamless than it did before. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of these extra columns. So click and then right click and I'm going to make this one smaller. Click, scroll down to the very bottom, hold down the shift key whenever you click the second time and that will select everything in between and then you're going to right click or click with two fingers and say delete those rows because we don't need those rows. And so now we've got just enough space for all of the information that we're going to have in this sheet. And you can actually insert a row above row one and make it skinny just like the other rows and then we will have a border for our entire document. So select the months, change the color if you want, make them cuter, and then you can also add a border and change the color of the text. I'm gonna change it to white if I have a dark background, or it can stay black if I have a light background. You can choose the border and the border color Again, it should be a light border color if you have a dark background and vice versa. Now, if you want dotted grid lines in between your dates, you have a dotted line option where the borders are. You'll just choose the icon to put the lines in between the weeks. And you'll need to change that color also because the white line's not gonna show up on a white background. <laughs> and so you can go through and you can do that or you can click that paintbrush up at the top left by the 100%. While you are in one of those squares, you can click that paintbrush and you can copy the formatting and you can paste it to the other cells. Now what I'm doing here is I'm creating the tab for the lesson plan for this week. Come back to the cell, click Command K, insert, and then you're gonna choose that specific sheet so whenever you click on that link it will take you to that that week's lesson plans.